What does today's art project have in common with your bathroom? We're about to find out. Hey everybody. So today we are going to be making face sculptures in the style of Constantine Brancusi. To do this, we're going to need just a few supplies. First thing we're going to need is some toilet paper. That's right, we're sculpting this out of TP. Um, cool thing about toilet paper is that it's so thin that really you just have to get it wet to get it to stick together. Um, it dissolves and then reweaves itself as it dries, kind of like handmade paper. In order to soak this toilet paper, you are probably going to need either a bowl or a cup of water. You gotta get this stuff wet in order for it to work. You're probably also going to want some sort of plate or maybe even a tray, something that you can leave your sculpture on for a few days while it dries. Once you gather everything, we can get started. Okay folks, so the first step in making our Brancusi sculpture is to take our toilet paper and unwind a sizable chunk so we can use to start creating a base. So we're gonna tear that off there, set this aside. Now we're just gonna kinda wind it neatly around our hand. Kind of make a little, a wide, but not like a, a, a messy wad. You know, we want a nice thick chunk that we can use as a base to wrap in the wet toilet paper. So we can start building up some bulk for our sculpture. So I'm gonna maybe wind it this way a little bit. We're gonna make just a decently sized pad, right? Something like this. You know, something we can make round, sort of ball shaped, kind of like this. Okay? Thick little wad of pit toilet paper. Next step is. We need to start creating the skin of this sculpture. So we're gonna be wrapping this in some wet toilet paper to hold it together. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take about two sheets worth of TP, like that, and we're gonna layer this about four sheets deep. So we're gonna take another sheet, we're gonna put it on top, and another sheet, Put it on top, and number four, just like this. You could probably get away with three sheets, but four sheets is really what you need to hold this thing together. Otherwise, it becomes just too thin, too brittle, and it starts tearing and ripping apart on you. So we're gonna take these four sheets, and we are going to dip them into our water. Give them a gentle soak, like that. You can see it's already starting to tear a little bit. We're gonna take our wad, like this, and we're gonna start wrapping it, pull it together. Do what you can to try to keep it smooth as much as possible. You're gonna end up with some wrinkles, but we can smooth those out with our fingers, but really you want it to be fairly even. You can start sculpting it shaping it. Yeah, another layer of toilet paper. Adding some bulk. And what I'm doing here is wrapping it around, smoothing it out, but I'm also creating an indent in the back so this thing is almost like a, a bowl. What we're doing is we're trying to create almost a mask-like shape, a very small, tiny mask that we're gonna be making in the style of Brancusi. I'm gonna use those primitivism style skills. Something along the lines of that. Almost like a little hockey puck. I'm kinda of smooth it out here and there. Just like that. Great little turtle shell type shape. There we go. Now we're gonna start putting some features on our mask. So we're gonna take some more toilet paper. As you can see, my, uh, my table is already kind of wet. I'm just gonna start soaking automatically. But that's okay. And 
uh, I might use just half this size. I'm gonna dip this in my water. And I'm gonna start uh, making a nose here. So I'm gonna create a little point like that and lay it on my hockey puck. Start smoothing it out. It's kind of creating a almost like a shark fin right here for the nose. Like that. Rancusi sculptures have really, really long noses. So I'm gonna put a nose there. Just like that. Smooth it out a little bit, get rid of some of your wrinkles. take another wad and I'm going to tear this one in half a little bit get it wet and we're going to start sculpting those long arcing eyebrows that Rancuzzi is known for I uh, broke off but that's okay we just use it like that that works just fine Rancusi faces have these long, arcing eyebrows, just like this. Tear off another one about that size, that worked well. Kind of make just a little, uh, little worm, like this, about the same size, and we're attaching it on. Smooth that on, get it to stick. The nice thing about toilet paper is that it's so thin and so fibrous that when you get it wet, it starts to dissolve. But then as it dries, it starts to reform in new shapes. Kind of like making handmade paper. It's handy if you don't have all the stuff to make actual paper mache. Get that a little wetter. And I'm gonna start making some eyelids here. Squeezing this sucker down. Twisting it in tight. That's a little long, so I'm gonna trim that down a little bit. Tear off that piece. There we go. And make another eyelid. Same way. Make a short little snake. And we're gonna put him right there. It's okay if it doesn't stick hard right now. We're gonna be covering this over with another thin layer of toilet paper to create a skin to paste everything down. So just kind of get it in place for right now. Get it shaped, get it in place. Get it to kind of cling a little bit. We should be good. There we go. Make the other eye. And I'm gonna need to make another snake. I'll roll this sucker up and get him wet. The sucker's getting hard to tear. There we go. We're starting to get that Rancusi face shape in place. Make the chin a little more pointy. He has very egg-shaped heads, so we'll make it a little pointier. As you can see, it's starting to look like one of his sculptures. Now, to hold everything down in place, it'll stick a little bit right now, but it's not going to hold up to moving it around. So what we're going to want to do is create a thin skin to cover everything over. So we're going to take Two layers of TP, just like this. Two layers. We're going to dip it in the water very carefully. Be very careful because this stuff will rip on you very easily. 
and we're going to start kind of just covering over these features we made and creating a, almost a thin uh, skin over the top of this to help hold everything down. So we're just going to cover it over, kind of get into all those grooves that we made, just like that. Paste it down. Just kind of smooth it out. Wet toilet paper is very clingy, so you shouldn't have a whole lot of issue getting it to stick. Let me do the same thing for the other side. Might get more TP here. Sheets, tear them in half. Again, using double layer. Wetten it out. And we're going to paste down on the other side. Just like this. Getting into all those cracks and crevices. Pulling our details back out, pasting it down. Make sure we don't deform our head too much. You might have to uh, go back in and squeeze your head back into shape a little bit, but that's okay. All right. So this thing is pretty much sculpted. Now. Here comes the hard part. It's not really hard, but it's one of those things we all have to work on. Patience. We're going to have to put our sculpture on a plate or a tray or something. And we're going to have to let this thing dry for a couple of days. This is very, very, very wet. So we're going to need to let this thing sit and dry out for two to three days in order to get rid of all this water that's soaked in. So now that you've seen how I made my sculpture, I want to see yours. Make sure you take a picture and post it to the Class Art Gallery.